Inflation is causing some companies across the U.S. to cut back on maternity and paternity leave. New numbers from the Society for Human Resources Management show 53% of companies offered maternity leave in 2020, but only 35% are offering it now. And when it comes to paternity leave, 27% of employers are offering it today, down from 44% in the year 2020. We all know how abrupt 2020 was. But Ruth Martin, Senior Vice President and Chief Justice Workplace Officer for Moms Rising, is joining yeah. us now live from Washington, D.C. Ruth, thanks for being with us. I know that your organization focuses on issues impacting moms and families like this sharp drop in leave. Are families having to take more paid or rather unpaid time off? Well, AJ, thank you so much for having me. Um, I really love the idea of kicking off Labor Day weekend, talking about a really important labor issue. Um, and yeah, what we are seeing right now is, is, is actually not new. We have a paid leave crisis in this country in that we have zero weeks of guaranteed paid leave uh, as a national standard across the country. And that means many, many, many people are taking unpaid time away from work right when they need it most, whether to welcome a new child or to care for a serious medical issue. Um, so this this is a problem and it's it's really upsetting, obviously, to see that some private employers are starting to cut back their benefits. And, and those companies cutting back their benefits uh, blame inflation, of course, but are there any legal requirements for this kind of leave? Well, 11 states in the United States have passed paid family and medical leave laws, and there are some legal requirements for employers in those states to provide some level of paid family and medical leave, uh, not just parental leave. We actually need leave. Um, we obviously need leave to welcome a new child into our new home, um, a new child into our home, but we also need leave for other points in our life. And for your own serious medical issue, to, to take care for an aging parent who maybe needs to be moved into memory care, or you might be dealing with a cancer diagnosis yourself and need some time away from work. There are other examples, of course. Um, and so 11 states have comprehensive paid family medical leave laws on the book, setting a requirement for employees in the state. But across the country, nationally speaking, there is no requirement that employers provide paid leave away from work. Okay. We do have the. Go, go ahead. No, go ahead. Really. I was going to say we do have a law on the books. It's almost 30 years old, which is the Family and Medical Leave Act. It's an incredibly important piece of legislation. It has helped millions of families over the last 30 years. But there are some, you know, caveats there. Not everybody is covered by FMLA, and importantly, that is unpaid leave. And for many people, unpaid leave basically means no leave because they can't afford to take that kind of time away from work without pay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.